Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of It's About Everything and in today's episode I am going to build a 12 volt hot glue gun with PVC pipes. First of all I am going to make the heating element and to do that I am going to use a paper cutout of the glue gun tip which is going to be in a cone shape just like any other glue gun and then use some glue to paste it on a 0.38 mm thickness aluminium sheet which was left over from a previous project. After that it was scissor time. I am using a center punch steel here to give it the shape of a cone. If you don't have it then use a carrot to do the same. Just kidding. You need to find something that is in a cone shape or you can make one using some epoxy putty. The entire design of this glue gun is in my mind and it's constantly changing according to the availability of materials and lots of trial and error. For now I am thinking of using these two cones. The other one that you can see I made it earlier. My plan is to stack them on top of each other and sandwich the heating element in between the two cones. In this way it is much easier and faster heating. Soon after that when I tried to stack both the cones I found out that one needs to be a little larger than the other one. So my immediate solution was to cut the tip and reshape it. The inner cone remains the same and it's going to be the one which is going to melt the hot glue stick inside but the outer cone will sandwich the insulated nichrome wire with the inner cone making it a heating element. After the cone was completed I needed to seal it so I used super glue or cyanoacrylate glue just to hold it for the moment before I apply epoxy glue. The aluminium sheet has some flex to it so the super glue will hold it until the epoxy glue fully cures. I'm going to use fast curing epoxy glue here which sets in 10 minutes and hardens in 2 hours so it's going to be fast. The reason for using epoxy is that it can handle much higher temperatures compared to the super glue or any other glue. I'm not sure how much high temperature it can handle but I was told that all kinds of epoxy adhesive are industrial grade and have approximately similar temperature tolerances and this glue can be used in auto repair applications including car engines or any type of engines and you know how hot they get. Alright guys another slight change in the design. The inner cone was way longer and wider than needed where actually it needs to be slightly larger diameter than the glue stick itself. So I had to chop it again to give it the right size. The outer cone also follows the same procedure. Now the heated tip needs to be mounted on the PVC base of the glue gun and it needs some kind of insulation to prevent the melting of the PVC pipe. So the closest and easiest choice that I could find was bamboo. It's a bad conductor of heat and it can handle about 150 degrees celsius temperature which will melt the glue stick but will not damage the bamboo. For additional strength of this bamboo I applied some super glue on the surface and it got soaked into it which will prevent it from breaking. Although the cone can be glued on one side of the bamboo but the glue stick has a lot of clearance around it and it should be minimum. The solution is bamboo as well. The plan is to cut few small pieces of bamboo and glue it around the inner wall of the bamboo tube which will reduce the inner diameter and also increase the strength of the bamboo tube. After taking some measurements with the rubber band and the glue stick, I finally proceeded with this plan. I glued all the small pieces in the inner wall of the bamboo tube using super glue and once it dried, I again took some measurements to see if it's ok. Then I finally applied the two part epoxy adhesive. After the epoxy adhesive dried, I again took some measurements and it's perfect. Basically when you are working with a lot of trial and error and you don't have a blueprint of the design, everything is in your head then you should take measurements every single time you make any adjustments like so as I am doing here. Ok so now I am on the third stage of this build. Now I am going to make the heating element. I am going to use fiberglass sleeve here to make the electrical and thermal insulation. Fiberglass can handle higher temperatures and it's also flexible so it's the perfect choice. My initial plan was to split the fiberglass sleeve and make a flat sheet of it. Then wrap the cone with these sliced pieces making two layers and then putting the nichrome wire in between the two layers. Then putting the outer cone on top of it and sealing it. But things didn't go according to plan. After wrapping the first layer of the fiberglass sleeve, the inner cone became so thick that the outer cone was tight leaving no space for the second layer of fiberglass 
and I haven't put the nichrome wire yet. So I changed the plan again. My real reason for using the outer cone is to hold everything together when the tip starts heating. As I was using super glue to paste the fiberglass in the cone, once it gets heated I am suspecting that aluminium will expand and everything will start opening up. The super glue is not heat resistant as well so I need something to hold it from outside and that's why I needed the outer cone. The new plan is even more simple than the previous plan. Now I am not using the outer cone instead I will use something else that you will see later. Now I don't even need the fiberglass sheet. The pieces that I glued earlier in the inner cone will remain as I already glued it but you won't need it anyway with the new process. Now I am going to use a much thinner fiberglass leaf and put the nichrome wire through it and then wrap it around the cone. Speaking of nichrome wire, I am going to use the nichrome wire from an old ceiling fan speed regulator. I have already made a video about it, you can click on the card in the top right corner and watch it. The nichrome wire is of 34SWG or standard wire gauge or 0.23mm. I am going to use about 6 ohms length of this nichrome wire which is approximately about 20 centimeters. According to ohms law, at 12 volts that's about 24 watts at 2 amps. I tried it on a 12 volt battery and it does glows to bright orange color. So I think that should be enough for melting the glue stick. So after straightening the coiled nichrome wire, I put it through a thin fiberglass sleeve then attached wires on both the ends and insulated them with more fiberglass sleeve. After that I wrapped the insulated nichrome wire around the cone and applied some super glue to maintain its shape. I hooked it up with a 12 volt battery to see how it does and surprisingly it does heat up fast. So instead of using the outer cone I am going to use aluminium foil to wrap the heating element and make it sealed as much as possible. This will prevent it from getting oxidized and will also help distribute the heat more evenly. To prevent the aluminium foil from coming off, I am tightly wrapping it again with aluminium wire and then it was completed. Finally I glued the heating tip on top of the bamboo tube with fast curing epoxy glue and after it was fully cured, it looked like an alien gun ammunition from the 1987 Predator movie. I hooked it up again with a 12 volt battery and it works just like I was expecting. In the next video I am going to show you how I built the glue gun body with PVC pipe and how the mechanism works. I hope you enjoyed this video if so then hit the like button and share it with your friends and if you are new then subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in my next one.